This is crazy news, friends. Experts have confirmed that SNAP benefits are falling short on food costs for millions of Americans. Lawmakers in Congress have proposed several ways this issue can be addressed. This will include boosting monthly benefits. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the new details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. This coming Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Dear friends, please enter the giveaway by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. As you all know, today the Department of Education is holding a hearing to get public input on the new debt relief that President Biden announced uh, a few weeks ago, right after uh, the SCOTUS decision. As you all know, the hearing is a key step forward in our work to get relief out to as many borrows as possible, as quickly as possible. The Department of Education also released state-by-state -state data showcasing who stands to benefit from the third, from the over $39 billion in debt relief we announced last week for over 800,000 borrowers. These are borrowers who had been making payments for decades, but were never given the relief they were uh, promised. So that's what we saw with our announcement last week. These borrowers are owed this relief, yet Republican elected officials, including those who had no problem with the government for giving billions of dollars in business loans, are still objecting to, including their own constituents. A couple of examples here. Representative Lisa McLean of Michigan said, come hell or high water, I will fight this. Now, there are more than 26,000 borrowers from Michigan are el eligible for this relief. Representative Virginia Fox of North Carolina said, we're hurting borrowers, but more than 24,000 borrowers from North Carolina stand to benefit from this relief. So congressional Republicans have made it clear they will stop at nothing to block relief from middle class borrowers, including their own constituents. But President Biden isn't backing down either. No president has fought harder for student debt relief. And guess what? He is not done yet. Low income Americans who need help paying their grocery bills often rely on food stamps, and for many Americans, the program is the only thing keeping them from going hungry. But too often, food stamps do not adequately cover food costs, leaving a big percentage of recipients unable to afford even inexpensive food items. A new study from the Urban Institute found that despite annual cost of living adjustments designed to help recipients deal with inflation, Food stamp benefits in 78% of U.S. counties do not cover the costs of moderately priced meals. SNAP benefits are provided to low-income households to help pay for food. SNAP is run by the United States Department of Agriculture and administered at the state level. The new study conducted by the Urban Institute analyzed the federal government's thrifty food plan which assesses a minimal cost nutritionally adequate diet, is used for determining SNAP benefits. Researchers found that in 2021, the re-evaluated thrifty food plan increased SNAP benefits while also dramatically reducing the share of counties with a gap between the maximum SNAP benefit and the cost of a modestly priced meal. That share plummeted to 21% in 2021 from 96% in 2020. However, because of unprecedented food inflation in 2022, the share of counties where SNAP benefits fell short shot back up to 99%. This has happened amid a political environment that has recently seen a reduction in SNAP benefits, as well as new rules expanding weekly work requirements for more older Americans. The result is that many SNAP recipients are in great danger of losing their benefits. Even for those who still receive benefits, food stamps often fall short of covering monthly food costs. And here are three reasons why. At the start of every fiscal year, through cost of living adjustments. But those adjustments do not offer much help when food inflation outpaces the COLA. The report stated, 
to protect and strengthen SNAP. Congress could remove strict time limits on SNAP benefits, allow for two colas per year when inflation is high, and ensure SNAP benefits cover the costs of a modestly priced meal throughout the U.S. In 2022, the average SNAP monthly payment per household was nearly $450. After emergency benefits came to an end, SNAP benefits for a family of four could see a drop of as much as $330 a month. Benefits for the elderly could see a drop from over $200 a month to as little as $23. A study from North Carolina State University found that SNAP benefits only cover 43% to 60% of what it costs to meet federal dietary guidelines. For a healthy diet. The study also highlighted the challenges that lower income households face in trying to eat a healthy diet. One of the main challenges is the high cost of healthy foods, such as fresh produce. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments section below. State legislators in West Virginia have introduced a set of SNAP related bills. Including one that would require an increase in monthly SNAP benefits to at least equal to the federal emergency allotments for pregnant individuals and households with children. California State Senator Carolina Menjivar has also introduced a bill to raise the state's minimum monthly SNAP payment to $50 by the end of January 2025. A leading consumer advocacy group. Has issued its support for a piece of congressional legislation that aims to bolster the SNAP benefits by increasing federal funding and improving access to healthier foods for all SNAP recipients. The Opt for Health with SNAP Act would strengthen the United States government's nutrition incentive program by boosting funding to $3.5 billion over five years. And also eliminating the state matching requirement. The Nutrition Incentive Program, which was first authorized in 2018, allows the Secretary of Agriculture to fund projects that incentivize low income consumers to purchase more fruits and vegetables. Well, my beautiful and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Wednesday afternoon. My dearest friends, Thank you so much for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My dearest friends, please make sure you enter the giveaway by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, The greater your chances of winning these giveaways.